Hey, what's up, YouTube? Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Got some mail today. Also found a couple of cool things at the store. So, without further ado, let's take this beautiful Fox Body Mustang off of the turnstile. And let's take a gander at this. No way. That is totally a plastic face. That almost makes me think this is fake. I'm going to have to look into that. Wow. Wow. <clears throat> Feast your eyes on this Tomica Limited Vintage. Toyota Celica with a plastic base. It's very light. That is very odd to me. I'm going to have to look into that. Very cool car. I really like it. I mean, it still has fantastic detail. It's just that Tomica Limited Vintage usually has metal base. That is as plastic as plastic can be. And you can totally feel it when you pick this car up. It's very, very light by TLV standards. It's not really uh, compromising anything, though, in the detail. And I don't know, you know, there probably aren't fakes out there of TLV. I'm just a little puzzled because I've never I've never come across a plastic based TLV. I, it's very rare to find a Tomica that has a plastic base. I guess the premiums and the basics and but even those plastic bases feel more like a like a composite, like a really sturdy composite material more more so than like a plastic. This feels like a very light, almost, I hate to say it, but almost like a really cheap plastic is what it feels like. So I'll have to uh, holler at some of my contacts to see what is going on with that because that is definitely new to me. But nonetheless, it's still a really cool looking car. Um, it it's definitely has the Tomica... TLV sprung suspension, prototypical wheels, lens headlights and taillights. I mean, it, it still looks amazing. So I'm just very puzzled by the plastic base. Copyright 2012. Huh, I'll have to look into that. All right, so moving along, I found some uh, Porsche culture cars today. Because it seems like three out of every five cars that they put out in this car culture series are Porsche. Porsches. <clears throat> I really like the card art on these. They really look good. That's why with this set, I, I currently have a loose set and a carded set of everything up to the race day cars. Um, I only found four of the five of these, but these will be these will go into my loose collection because the cards aren't very good. And I have a friend of mine that is a Mattel. Um, he's an authorized dealer for Mattel, so I get my cases from him. So I'll order at least a case, probably just a case, because I what I like to do is I like to have a loose set, a carded set, and a case of this particular series now i am missing cases for the trucks and the euro style but i have cases for everything else um this is awesome these these wheels are dope metal on metal real riders let's take a look at this porsche was it a 962 Porsche 962. <clears throat> very, very cool. I like the livery. 
Tampa's actually looked pretty good on this. Sometimes that's an issue. Um, but, I mean, if you look at how flat the surfaces are, I can see how this would be one that really doesn't, wouldn't have a lot of tampo errors or flaws. Not my favorite car. I'm, I know a lot of you guys like these race cars, dedicated race cars. I'm more of a, a civilian car type of a guy. Or even like a civilian race car type of a guy. Anyways, um, this next one, this is its second appearance in the car culture. This is the Mazda RX-3. This car very much, look at the card art, just awesome. Um, here are the cars that are available in this five car release. The only one I did not find was that 78 Porsche 935. But I, I will get that. But uh, this car here is the first car in the car culture set to be to come out twice. <clears throat> I don't think it'll be the last car that we see twice. I really want to see the... Uh, the Fair Lady 2000, that's a casting I really want to see released in the premium. But uh, this Mazda is awesome. I think I like the first one from the Japan Historics a little bit better. I will show that. So this is the uh, Race Day Mazda RX-3. And then we'll just do a, a little side by side with the uh, Japan Historics. I think it looks quite a bit better personally. Better color, better wheels, better graphics, pretty much everything about it in my opinion looks better. Now with that said, I still like the race day. <clears throat> Just not as much. What do you guys think? Purple or yellow? This uh, car culture set, in my opinion, has been Hot Wheels' best set since the Retro Entertainment. <clears throat> the Garage series was pretty cool, but I think uh, the thing with this car culture set is pretty much almost every single car is very collectible. There are a few cars that seem like they're just filler. But uh, no fantasy cars. These, this is the 31st through 35th uh, cars released. And still no fantasy castings. And I don't believe we're going to see any fantasy castings in the car culture set. Um, I think uh, they got to do a low riders. Um, I think it would be cool. I know they did a truck set, but I think it would be cool to do an off-road set. Um, and then, you know, shoot, they could even go around and do another cycle of Japan, um, Europe. This is cool. I like this little Porsche. Look at that. Urban Outlaw. The hood tampos look amazing. You very, seems like it's really hard to find hood tampos that look that good. The wheels look great. Ah, are these all new wheels? I don't think I've, I don't think we've seen those. I know these are new. I know we have, Hot Wheels hasn't put those out yet. Um, on the, RX-3, these are actually the same wheels as these. They're just black. And I do think they look better in chrome. But uh, the wheels on this little Porsche, I don't think we've seen before from Hot Wheels. Well, maybe. Are those the ones from the... Yeah, I can't tell. I don't know. Uh, 
don't know. This last car, <clears throat> I didn't care much for it when I saw the the samples, but now that I see it in person, it's so freaking awesome. All right, so this is your little, uh, oh, which one is this? Porsche 914. Look at that. Look at those wheels and tires. That is how they should all look. We shouldn't have these crazy low profile tires. The race cars don't have crazy low profile tires. So, card art looks great. This, All of these cards are a little bit dinged up. Um, I bought all these to crack open anyway. So, I'll find a carded set for my carded set at some point not real worried about it wow this car is sick i've seen this casting it came out in the road trip in um i don't know that this casting's ever been put out with a metal base <coughs> it's a very heavy casting i can tell you that right off the right off the get-go look at that look at those graphics the color combination of red and black that <clears throat> that is sick that is sick man <clears throat> that is a beast right there Yokohama Advan Graphics. So that's it for the cars I got. Now, I'm a little on the fence here. I got a box today from a buddy of mine back east who uh, I've sent I've sent him some stuff. I really haven't sent him anything in quite a while, but um, I sent him some stuff. He sent me some stuff, then I sent him some stuff, and I know he does customs. The guy's an artist, okay? He's an artist for a living. He's very, very artistic and has the ability to draw, paint, and do those kinds of things. Um, a lot of you probably know who he is. Uh, formerly known as Cambodian Holiday, currently known as Slayer Nays, or Vic Oric. Very, very cool guy. I got a box today. I, I sent him a Datsun 510 Hot Wheels casting. <coughs> it was a, a Brock Racing custom that somebody had done for me. It wasn't done very good. Um, this guy that's all over Instagram right now, Boogie Customs. This guy, Boogie, does great work. Um, he kind of ditched out on me, which I'm a little bummed out about. We had a deal to, um, he, you know, we had agreed on him doing a, a, another custom for me because I purchased three from him, and his customs aren't cheap. They're like 65 bucks a piece, and I purchased three, and uh, we talked about him doing another one, he said, yeah, 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 I got a few to do, and then you'll be up. And this is like four months ago, and I see him, you know, always posting pictures of these customs that he's doing. So he's obviously doing them for other people. I'm a little bummed out about that. But anyways, the point is, he does good customs. Okay, he kind of flaked out on me, but his customs are really good. The other guy that did this, this Hot Wheels Datsun is real shoddy. So what I did is I sent it off to... Uh, Vic or Slayer Nays, and I said, hey man, can you give this the post-race look with the grime and the grit and the dirt? And uh, he said, yeah, man, no problem. Now, he's had it probably, oh man, I think I sent it to him at like the end of last summer. And we've gone back and forth with conversations and we've shipped stuff back and forth. Just, uh, it's just taken a while, which is no big deal. <clears throat> but anyways, so there are instructions in this box. Here's some goodies I hope you cherish in the collection. I thought long and hard 
on this little box, just something to show my gratitude for all you've helped me with. Your friend Vic Oric, Slayer Maze. P.S. Open in order. There are some special cars in here. Handle with care. Weathered or other crazy shit. Handle delicately and ships. <laughs> All right. All right. This is cool because one thing I don't have a lot of in my collection is customs. So I don't know where to start. I'm just pulling. It's very, very well packed. I guess I'm just going to start at the top. I don't really know what order to go in. Wow, these are two awesome cars right out the gate. And I don't have either one of these. Sick. Couple of Hot Wheels. We got the Ferrari 458 Italia. And a really awesome variation of the BMW 2002. It's got indicators door handles, gas cap, very, very nice. And I do not have either one of those. I have this casting, I just don't have the, this version of it. So that's really cool. Now everything else is numbered. They all appear to be in acrylics or bubble wrap. So I'll start with number one and let's just go. 17 minutes, so I gotta try to make this as quick as possible, and then in the meantime, go check that out. Oh, yeah, that is sick. Um, ooh, race bait 308. I don't know, I don't know really anything about this, I don't know when it's from. I kind of want to say, like, is that a color shifter? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, but it's an awesome black wall, and it's in really, really good condition. Well, the paint and the, the clear coat's in really good condition. Tampos are a little worn, but not, not bad. It's all still legible. That is a very cool car. Rolls really nice. So we got that race bait 308. All right, so number two is right here. All right, so that one was wrapped in bubble wrap. I think the rest of these are wrapped in bubble wrap, and then they're in acrylics. So I'm pretty stoked about this. I have to admit, oh, dude, that is sick. That is so dope. That is so sick, dude. That means a lot to me. That actually really means a lot to me. I really appreciate that, Vic. This like, that's like very sentimental to me. All right, guys. So what we have here, let me take it out of the acrylic. This is definitely a casting that will never leave my collection. In fact, this might if I can get in and do it, this might become the uh, header, the header to my channel. That is just amazing. All right, so what we have here is a pop culture Beatles highway hauler. But let's take a look at what it really is as it comes around. Hand painted 164. That is sick. Hand painted. I love it. That is awesome. And that really means a lot. So that is number two. Damn, that is sweet. All right, on to number three. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, number three is got bubble wrap, and then it's in the acrylic, and then inside the acrylic, it's bubble wrapped. Oh, wow, I can see why. I can see where the whole delicate thing comes in. That is 
is awesome. Dude. And it's not, it's not drilled. That is crazy. I have this casting. Uh, Champion DJK sent me this casting, but he sent me the Chase, <clears throat> the Chase White Lightning version of it. So I don't have this. Dude, he did the windshield and everything. And he I don't think he drilled the base, so it's still a stock. <coughs> still a stock base. But check out this uh international pickup from Johnny Lightning. It's got the roached out. I wouldn't I don't know if I'd say roached out, but it's definitely a weathered pickup. It's got the rust, the faded look. That is just that is awesome. I don't have anything like this in my collection other than the rusted cars that these, that, you know, Johnny and Greenlight put out. I don't have any custom rust, rust cars, and that looks killer. Look, check out the windshield as it comes around. You can see where the wiper blades have cleaned it. That is so cool. And this casting does have the opening tailgate, which is a really cool feature. So that is dope. All right, on to number four. Well, you got number four and then number five. And then one of these should be the Datsun. I know what this is. I think you messaged me about this one. So if you watch my videos, I've been making kind of a, I don't know if I'd call it aggressive, but I've been making an attempt at the retro entertainment set. I've been chipping away at it. I think I'm around 85 or 90 cars now. It's all loose. The whole, my whole collection is loose, but I don't have this one from the Italian job. I have the blue one, but I almost like this one better. The details stand out much better on the white one here. <clears throat> so that is a really cool little car. And that'll go into my retro entertainment set. And what do we got here? This has to be it. All right, here we go with the drum roll. I'm really stoked about this car. Got some acrylics. All right, let's see how this thing came out. Oh, hell yeah. That, that is insane. Dude. It was such a bad custom. You could see the lines on the decals that were put on. Um, I didn't like the wheels that were on it, so I went and bought one of those NASCAR cars from uh, from Target. It was like the Joey Logano car or something like that. And uh, it had the red wheels, which I thought looked really cool. He weathered the wheels and everything. This is amazing. This is like so much better than I than I was expecting and now with with the post race effect on it you it really hides a lot of the flaws from the original custom that was done I mean this is just incredible right here that is sick I mean you know everybody's got a Bree Dotson in their collection but how many post race Bree Dotsons have you seen that looks so amazing. I just, I'm blown away by how cool that looks. That looks freaking awesome. But now that the body looks so good, what I'm really tempted to do is pull that interior out and give it a shot of black, like a flat black, and maybe, maybe detail it out a little bit. Maybe do like a white roll cage. I don't know. I mean, that would be real easy to do because 
one thing the guy that customized it did do is he did use a screw, a little button head. So it's real easy if I ever want to put real riders back on or anything like that. But, you know, for me, I don't even care about the real riders. I like the look. And these wheels, to me, look so much better than any of the Hot Wheels real riders that are out there. So, yes, it's unfortunate that these are not rubber tires. But, I mean, look at that. Look at how killer that thing looks. This is, like, one, one of, like, my prized possessions in my collection now. That is so freaking awesome. I just can't get over how cool this thing is, man. Wow. That was everything that I hoped it would be, and then some. <clears throat> so, you guys, um, so he's formerly known as C Cambodian Holiday. His name is Vic Oric. He's uh, back east. I think he's in Georgia. Super nice guy. Uh, he's on YouTube and Instagram as Slayer Nays. That's his current uh, tag is Slayer Nays. All one word. Um, so check him out on YouTube. Subscribe. Give him a follow on Instagram. Just an awesome guy. Um, and if you ever need a tattoo and you're in his area, he's probably a, a good hookup to have. So... Uh, Vic, I really appreciate this, man. The, the, the White Album Highway Hauler is sick. That's very sentimental to me because you personalized it. Um, and I appreciate everything. I love the, the Johnny Lightning. I love the Ferrari. I love the Retro Entertainment because I need that. But I absolutely love this Datsun. This thing looks so freaking cool. And uh, I'm very grateful. It was well worth the wait. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's it. That's going to wrap up my video. Um, it's Friday night. I'm not going to be doing any hunting, uh, any active hunting this weekend. If I do come across, you know, any more of these, I'll probably grab another set. Or, you know, if I find something, I'll grab it. But I'm not going to, you know, go out and hunt with the intent of buying diecast so i probably won't be back on for a few days i don't have anything coming in the mail the only thing i was waiting on was this toyota celica and i have received that so i have no pending orders uh, if i do come back this weekend with a video it'll be just a review of something in my collection right now maybe i'll pull some green light out and do a, a review or something like that but uh, thank you for checking it out we're almost at a half hour just look at how cool this Dotson is and uh, I'll close the video out with that I will holler at all you guys and girls at the next video thank you